Hey guys, how y'all doing out there? Time for another tutorial from Pinnacle Studio Pro. Today, I'm bringing you something you can feel, the flicker effect in Pinnacle Studio 16 Ultimate. Now, this effect is used in a lot of music videos. It's used in TV and, and movies too, but it's used in a lot of videos. Basically, what you'll see is a singer or rapper doing their thing in the first scene, and then you'll see a flicker of two scenes happening at the same time, and then you'll see the singer or rapper doing their thing in a different scene somewhere else. It's a really cool effect. I like it a lot. And you know what? If you don't like it, that's too bad because I think it's totally awesome. Okay? So, let's get into it. First thing you want to do is you want to bring your first video clip down into the timeline. The first video clip you bring down should be the one where the scene is starting. All right? So it'll be like the singer or whatever is doing their thing in this first scene. Getting down, doing whatever. Then you got your second clip. So your second clip needs to go on the timeline track right above it. Now, this will be the scene that it's transitioning to. All right? So you got to make sure that if you have music or audio or something going on that's in both of the clips, that you sync them up precisely. You might have to sit them right on top of each other. And then find the spot where you want your where the drum roll starts and all that stuff and all that jazz. Just remember, you want your clips to be exactly starting at the same audio point. All right. So for this, I don't have audio going on. I'm just going to show you how to do the flicker. So I'm going to drag this to a position where I want. Let's pretend like our drum roll is starting right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on split. This will split. Let's click on this just to be sure. And let's click on split because we want to split this clip at the bottom. All right, because this is where our drum roll or where our flicker is going to start. And then we want to move our playhead to a position where the we want the flicker to stop or the drum roll stops because that's where the flicker should stop at. You may need to stretch out your timeline to get it exactly the way you want it to be, things like that. Um, but if you don't, don't worry about it. But on this, you want to split both clips. So I'm going to hit control. And I'm going to make sure that both of these clips are surrounded by orange. It means they're both selected. And I'm going to click on split. And now split both of the clips. Now this little part back here, remember, I don't need this because I'm transitioning from this scene to the flicker to the next scene. So you, I don't need you. Get out of here. Go away. Go home, yo. I'm going to right click on him. I'm going to click on delete. He's a goner. All right. So... Now we got this section here. This is where our flicker is going to be going down. This is where all the magic happens. So what we want to do is, first thing, we got to make sure that you can see both clips. Because when I drag my playhead across, you see, you can only see the clip that's on top. That's the way Pinnacle Studio and Avid Studio works. But I want to see both. So I'm going to go to this bottom clip first. I'm going to right click on it. Go to Open Effects Editor. Now I'm going to go to 2D, 3D, Advanced. We're going to go to our old, you know, trusty friend, 2D Editor Advanced. Now, you can use uh, different effects on here, like the pan and zoom lets you do transparency, whatever. I'm going to go change this from default to no preset. I'm going to go to transparency. I want my transparency on the bottom clip to be 25, so I'm going to click this until it turns blue. And I'm going to type in 25 and hit enter. So now I'm going to hit OK. Now we got to get something going on the top clip. So I'm going to right click on the top clip. I'm going to go to Open Effects Editor. I'm going to go to 2D, 3D. 2D Editor Advanced again.
Change it to no preset. Go to my transparency. And this time, for the top clip, I'm going to make the transparency 50. So I want it to be more see-through than the bottom one. So now I'm going to click OK. Now, we got all of that going on. So we got our position, our clips in position where the flicker is going to be going down. We need to create the flicker now. So to create the flicker, we need to get rid of some of this top clip. So I'm going to stretch the timeline all the way out by left clicking on the timeline area here and dragging it to the right. We don't need it all the way out, I guess. Sure. I think that's good. So what we want to do is we want to go to the beginning of this clip here and we want to go step through three frames and split. So I'll step over one, two, three and split. You know what? We just want to split one, not both. So let's make sure that only this one is activated by clicking on it. Let's go back to the beginning. And let's go through three frames by moving the step one frame forward button and split. And we're going to do that three frames and split until we get all the way across to the end. Now that I got all of my clips split, you can see I got all of these little itty bitty clips in here. This is what is going to create the flicker. So we need to go ahead and get these middle ones out from in between. So what we're going to do is just click anywhere off of any video clip. And then now you see none of them are activated. We're going to click on, let's see, let's click on the second clip. And then we're going to hold the control button down. We're going to click on every other clip. Now that we got that done, all these clips are ready to be removed. So we're going to right click on one of them. And we're going to hit delete. And now you'll see all of these spaces in between these clips. This creates the flicker. And because we've already changed the transparency of the clip when it was all together, all of these have the transparency in them. And this bottom one has the transparency. And now we go ahead and play it back. You will see the flicker effect. There it is. How to make the flicker effect in Pinnacle Studio 16 Ultimate and in Avid Studio. All right. El Fiend. It's over. It's done. There's some things that you need to do, though. You know the routine. First and foremost, the thumb. The one that's pointed in the upward direction. Click it. Like it. Live it. Love it. Hug it. Give it some depth. Do anything you want. Just touch it with your cursor. If you touch it with your cursor, you'll get gold. Okay? That may not be true, but hey, you know what? Just touch it anyway. Secondly, leave me your comments, all right? I love comments. They really, really, really show that you're involved in the video. You watched it, hopefully, all the way through. Sometimes, though, people leave comments. They don't even watch the whole video. They're like, well, how do you do so? Well, I did that in the video, buddy. How do you make the uh, flicker? Well, I put that in the video. If you would have watched the video, then you would have saw how to make the flicker. Okay? But I still love your comments anyway. I'll get back to you, and I will help you if you need help. If I can't help you, I'll point you in the right direction to get you the help you need. All righty then. And last, but definitely not least, don't you ever forget to subscribe thanks for watching 
We'll see you again soon. Thank you.